old Georgie is six months old now. How you doing, George? You want to get up and come to Mama? There he is. Big boy. Did you have a good sleep? After I shared my day in the life video a couple of months ago, I've had people reaching out and asking me about my fitness routine and what I've been doing. And so I thought I'd make a little video to show y'all just what I've been doing postpartum to get into shape and feel fit again. I'm gonna be real with y'all. I have never been a fitness person in my entire life. I think when Ben and I were dating, we would go to the gym together and work out together. And that was fun. We did that some even into our first year of marriage, but then after having kids, it did complicate things. I would work out sporadically here and there. Um, sometimes we would take the kids along with us, but it just wasn't as feasible once you added kids into the mix. And so fitness is something that's really just dropped off the map for me <laughs> for the last 10 years. I've always been very dedicated to eating nutritiously and fueling my body well. Um, during pregnancy and while I'm breastfeeding. So I have managed to lose the postpartum weight, but I haven't felt very toned between pregnancies. And so that was something that after this pregnancy, I knew I really wanted to do better. I realized that as a mom, my body has gone through so many different changes with pregnancy and postpartum and I embrace the stretch marks. I know my body has changed shapes and sizes so many times and it's not about looking a particular way. It's not really about numbers on the scale. It's really not about aesthetics as much as it is feeling good, feeling fit, and being able to be mom to all these little blessings that God has given me. And so I thought about starting a fitness thing during my pregnancy, but I really didn't feel like I had the energy for that. And so I just made it my goal that once I was six weeks out postpartum, I would start something I was a little nervous to try to sign up for anything because I have tried different things in the past and it just hasn't worked out for me. But I knew that I wanted it to be different this time. And so I signed up for a 14 day free trial from Copilot, which is now called Trainwell. They just had a name change recently. So what I liked is that this fitness app has a real coach that they pair you with. So at the start of this fitness journey, I did a video chat with her and she took me through a bunch of different questions, just asked me about my health history and my fitness goals. I'm excited to get started on this journey. I know they said that you kind of wanted to just like test the app out. Um, so I'm really yes. excited to, yeah, just see how, how it'll work for you. So I know you mentioned that you are, you know, postpartum. Um, so I'm really excited to support you on that journey. Like I said, I have two kids as well. So I definitely understand that, that journey. Mm -hmm. um, so I'd love to just kind of talk to you a little bit about your history of fitness first, talk more about your goals, and then we'll kind of move into the workouts moving forward. All right. Um, I have not really ever been a super, I don't know, fitness kind of person. <laughs> so I've had, I've had moments where I've been like, okay, I need to work out, do it for like a few weeks. And then I would stop and not do it for like months and months at a time. That's basically like my history with all fitness. We always will do like family walks and stuff like that, but not a lot of stuff where I'm getting a lot of good cardio, getting my heart rate up. My husband and I together used to do more like weight training. We'd go to a gym and work out like that. Um, and then, yeah, just with adding more kids, like, it's not that I couldn't, but I haven't prioritized it. Like my husband, he still like makes it a priority. So he like, he still goes to the gym at least like usually three days a week. Um, and I, I'm like, oh no, I'll just do some at home stuff. And so I'll like pull up videos and yeah, that lasts for about three days. And then I'm like, <laughs> oh, the baby was up in the night or whatever, you know, whatever excuse. And then I just fall out of the rhythm. Anyway, so I guess what I'm excited for is to just have some accountability and like my husband's great, but he'll like give me lots of like, oh yeah, you're tired. It's okay. Like, you know, yeah, you've, you had a long night or whatever, you know? Um, and so I think like having somebody outside of family, that's just like cheering me on and like helping keep me on track. And then also just like creativity to have like diverse workouts. Cause I, I kind of just do what I've always done and it's not very diverse. And so it kind of gets boring too. <laughs> I think like those are definitely some of my goals with doing something like this. Yeah, perfect. That definitely helps a lot. Um, and I do totally agree. I think having someone who's not family to encourage you and support you and not sort of like let you slide in a sense um, is very helpful because he loves you and he's just trying to you know, he knows you work so hard at home with the kids and he just wants you to to support you. So it does help to kind of have that 
that outside support um, and accountability for sure. So I'm excited to, to do that for you. So let's kind of talk about these workouts moving forward. We will avoid prone position movements at first because you are still very postpartum. So it is, our body's been through a lot, you know? So we do want to um, just ease you back into it and really support that core and pelvic floor. Then I'll check in with you after every workout, see how everything is going. Um, I'll also check in if you miss a workout just to help, you know, hold you accountable, remind you to get that done the next day, see if you need any schedule changes. Is that okay if I check in that way? Oh, perfect. Yeah, I need it. I want it. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. A lot of times it really does help people knowing that like I'm a real person who's checking in with you, not just like a computer. So hopefully that will be um, help you and be like, oh, yep, Heidi's going to check with me. I might as well just just finish it. So moving forward, I would love to know, I know it's kind of open-ended, but what is your why? Like what's really pushing you to start this journey? Like if you're successful, how do you feel like it will benefit you? I'm hoping to just feel more energized, have more energy um, and feel more toned and all the things. Are there any specifics in your day-to-day -day that you're hoping might get easier? Yeah, well, just like not getting out of breath easily, you know, just yep. like to be super active with the kids and play backyard sports and go on runs on the trails and whatever and not feel like I can't keep up with them. They are very energetic. They have a lot of energy. I, that is perfect. So I like to ask that just because as life gets crazy, especially as a mom, um, it is so easy for us to prioritize everyone else and everything else. Um, but it is super important for you to remember that, you know, you can't be the best mom, you can't be the best wife um, unless you're in a good place. And so it really is a lot of people will feel like, well, this is selfish of me. I should be doing things for my family. And I always say this is doing something for your family. She asks, like, are you going to be going to the gym? Are you going to be working out at home? What kind of equipment do you have available to you? I only had two sets of dumbbells, eights and twelves. So that was all I had at the start. She's like, no problem. I'll just create your workouts with those. And so very customizable. Since then, I've added a few more weights to my stash here. For me, in this season of life, going to the gym is just not very practical. It's much easier for me to be able to work out at home, and so I love that she's able to create custom workouts for me. We started out with really manageable lengths. She was like, I want to set you up for success, and so I started off with Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday for 10-15 minutes a day, and I did that for several weeks, and then we bumped it up to 20 minutes and five days a week. And now we've bumped it up to about 30 minutes, six days a week. And so here I am five months in, working out six days a week, 30 minutes a day, something that I never thought that I could do. I always told myself, I'm not that kind of a girl. I'm not a workout girl, I'm not a fitness girl, that's not me. But at the end of the day, how do you become a quote unquote workout girl? Like the only way you do that is by working out. I kind of have that mentality in a lot of things in life. It's like oh, I'm just not a good cook. Well, how do you become a good cook? It's by cooking more. Oh, I'm just not really a bookworm. Well, how do you become a bookworm? By reading more. So I think that it was kind of a mentality shift for me. I don't feel like working out is something that a lot of people are just born loving to do. I think it's something that you grow into. And I will say that now it is such a part of my routine that I actually do enjoy it. That sounds weird. I really do. I enjoy that part of my routine in my morning, starting off my day working out. I feel stronger. I feel like I have more energy throughout my day. I'm not so dependent on my caffeine and also clothes fit better. So that's just a bonus. So you get a period of rest between workouts and then it will move you on to the next thing. I like that it's synced to my watch and so not only does it track my heart rate and all of that but I can also tap whenever I've completed a set or if I don't need the rest phase I can tap here to skip that. Ready, George? 25 pounds. Here we go. All right. I don't know what it is about those jumpers, but every time a kid gets in them, I feel like they gotta poop. Let's get you changed as a Georgie. Pause, workout. It's just super invigorating for me because I've never stuck with a workout program before. But I signed up for that 14 day free trial. And after that, I was pretty much hooked and I just kept with it. There's a certain type of workout momentum. And so I've heard that sticking with something for three weeks creates a new habit. And that was definitely the case for me. After the first three weeks, I was over that initial intense soreness and feeling like I was loving my new routine. 
This is one of the most awesome aspects is right here in the app. I'm chatting with my coach. She's asking me how my workouts feel. She's customizing things for me. If I need certain days off, she can remove those. If I'm uncertain about my form on something, she'll send me so videos. Standing bench press, um, you can hold whatever weight, so kettlebell, dumbbell, and just sort of hold it at chest height, and then just press it out. Okay, so I'm gonna hold it at chest height. This right here is just a really cool feature because it shows the relationship that you have between you and your coach. It tracks the duration, the calories burned, and also your heart rate. You can do things like log your progress as far as weight goes also right here in the app. Another cool feature that the app has is that I can tap right here and I can give my coach feedback on this particular movement. So I can tell her if it felt too easy, too hard. If the weights that she's assigned me feel too light or too heavy, then I can click right here and edit my reps or my weights. So take it from me, the newbie. I'm not some fitness person who's been doing this forever. It's never too late to form a new habit, to start something new. And so if I can do it, that's pretty much proof that anybody can do this. So you got this. If you feel like you might need a little boost in motivation and accountability in your fitness journey and that might be beneficial to you, I'm gonna put a link for Trainwell in the description box below this video. And if you want to try out that free 14 day trial like I did and see if this app and the personal coach might be a good fit for you, then check it out. I wanna bet you're gonna be as satisfied and excited as I am.